Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will see the concept of bulk insert task. Bulk insert task is used when we want to load data from a file into our database table. Bulk insert task is generally used when we are sure of the quality of the data and the data does not require any transformation before being loaded into a database table. Generally, bulk insert task is used while loading bulk data into a staging environment. And in the staging environment, we can do further data profiling or whatever cleaning of data is required. We can perform that activity in our staging environment. And then we can finally load the data in production tables. Now, for our example, I have created this table called bulk insert data table. It has got four columns and its data types are defined. Now data exactly as per these four columns and its respective data types is present in this text file called sales underscore data dot txt. I will not open the text file as it contains around 10 lakh records. So it will be difficult to open it in notepad. So that's why we will not open it in notepad. We will load the data from that text file into our package. So let us first of all create a flat file connection. Now let us specify that file which we want to load. And the column separator is comma. So we are able to generate the preview also, which means SSIS is able to read the data. Now the first column will have header as it is shown in the preview. Let us click OK. So now flat file connection manager is ready. So we can use this in our bulk insert task. So let us Again, specify the database connection and the table. So now let us go to the options tab. Over here, we are saying that the type of data is character data, batch size. This is very important. More than 10 lakh records are present in our flat file. So what we will say is we want to load 1 lakh record at a time. So batches of every 1 lakh record will be committed. Now the first row will start from record number 2 because first record contains the header, column headers. Let us specify max errors to be 10. So if it exceeds this number that is number of errors are more than 10 our task should fail. Now everything is configured so let us save it and let us execute the task. So we can see that the task has executed successfully. Now let us go to a table. So more than 10 lakh records have been inserted successfully through our bulk insert task. I hope friends this particular tutorial on bulk insert task is useful to you. Thank you.